guys, it's Faye and this is Day with Faye. Today I'm going to be reviewing two products from Kylie Skin and that is the Hydrating Face Mask and the Hydrating Lip Mask. Timestamps are going to be in the description below if you're looking for a specific piece of information, it's going to be in there. So I'm going to talk about the ingredients for each one and then I'll tell you about my experience with the product and then I'm going to rate it. Okay, so first of all, the packaging is very similar to the packaging from the Kylie Skin regular line. I like the pink packaging. I like that this is ombre from pink to white. I think it's really cute, very simple, very classic, and the boxes feel pretty luxurious as well. Now with the products themselves, this is the hydrating face mask. It feels super nice. And then here is the hydrating lip mask. Now these products are cruelty free and vegan, which is very important to me. They're also paraben free and gluten free, which I didn't know that you would want that in a, like it needs to say that, or is it just saying that? I don't know. So first up, we're going to talk about the lip mask. So back before I was looking for vegan products, I loved using my beeswax lip thing to hydrate my lips at night. And then when that ended, I would use my like Vaseline lip balm, but the parent company from Vaseline tests on animals and comes from oil products that are not vegan. So I was on the hunt for something that could moisturize my lips. So I was really happy when Kylie Skin came out with their moisturizing mask for your lips. So let's go over the ingredients. So I'm only gonna talk about the first four ingredients of each product, otherwise this video would be really long. And I'll also mention some that look a little bit interesting to me. So the first major ingredient from this lip mask is this diglycerol polyacyladipate, oh my God, polyacyladipate 2. I probably said that wrong. This ingredient is comparable to lanolin, but lanolin comes from sheep, so this is like the vegan version of that, which is pretty cool. It is an emollient, which basically means it just like moisturizes and hydrates your skin. The second ingredient is hydrogenated polyisobutene. And again, this is a emollient, so it's supposed to moisturize your skin. Obviously, I would hope that these <laughs> moisturizing masks like include a bunch of emollients. So it is a synthetic polymer that is used as a skin softening agent and an emollient. It gives it a rich, thick texture. The third ingredient is diisosterol malate, which again is an emollient. It's actually mainly used in lipsticks, which again, this is a lip mask, so I think it's supposed to have that similar consistency. And then next up we have shea butter. Now shea butter is a really commonly used emollient that I see in a lot of skincare products. It has a lot of hype. It has a very rich texture that is very soothing for dry skin. I think that it does have hype, but it is rightfully so. The other ingredient I do want to point out is that it does contain coconut oil. So if you are prone to breakouts or you have sensitive skin, sometimes for some people, coconut oil can be very comedogenic. The rating of comedogenic is, I believe, four out of five. Let me double check. Yes, it is regularly listed as a four. So it is moderately comedogenic and sometimes it's even higher. So if you start breaking out a little bit, just be wary of that. I actually do have a little bit of a breakout out right next to my lip so just be very very careful i guess don't spread it out too much that was that'd be my tip you can use this like one of two ways you can use it as a little bit of a lip sleep mask something you put on right before bed so that your lips wake up feeling nice and moisturized and also in the morning you know like right after you take a shower and you're doing all your skincare routine again be really wary not to put it around your skin at least for me i do have sensitive skin it doesn't have any smell that automatically comes out very it feels very unfragranced which is good i like when my skincare is unfragranced you know like it can be really sensitive for a lot of people so i would kind of make it comparable to basically like a really thick it feels like beeswax a little bit but also kind of like that vaseline lip product that i was telling you about it's definitely hydrating but it's not like whoa wow this completely changed my life it's really hard for me to find holy grail products like that 
but I always keep it real with you guys. But the thing that makes me happy about it is that it is cruelty free and it is vegan. So I can get that same level of moisturizing on my lips without any harming done in the process to any animals, which I am a huge fan of. So I think that that's really cool that we could get this like lanolin like texture without actually having lanolin or without having any sort of like animal-based products so that's really cool so on a scale one being i hate it two i don't like it three i'm neutral about it four i like it five i love it i definitely give this a four i do like it i'm not as obsessed about it i think that if kylie skin came out with a lip scrub because i personally am a huge fan of them but something that's kind of like fine and not really damaging to the skin and i paired it with this i think that it would do wonders for my lips so next up i'm going to be talking about the ingredients of the hydrating face mask so the first ingredient is water so obviously i'm not going to talk about that but the second ingredient is caprylic slash capric triglyceride which has a really good rating on paula's choice skincare it is derived from coconut oil and glycerin it is an excellent emollient which again means that it moisturizes your skin. Makes sense, because this is a moisturizing face mask. It can replenish the surface of your skin and resist moisture loss. So yeah, overall, that is a good skincare ingredient. The third ingredient is cedaryl alcohol. Even though the name can be scary, cedaryl alcohol is actually a really good skincare ingredient. It is an emollient, so it does not dry your skin out like the name suggests, it actually hydrates your skin. And then we have niacinamide, which is also a popular skincare ingredient I see a lot. But the reason why you see it a lot is because it is a really good skincare ingredient. It improves the appearance of fine lines, and large pores, dullness, and uneven skin tone and to some extent it can help repair damage done by UV rays yeah and also niacinamide is actually really good to combine with vitamin C so if you're using the vitamin C serum in this line it is good to go the next ingredient I want to talk about is diheptyl succinate which is a lightweight emollient that is often used as a replacement for silicone. I also just wanna say that it does contain shea butter and we would think, can shea butter clog my pores? It actually has a zero on the comedogenic rating, so you don't have to worry about that. And then we have kiwi seed oil in here and the comedogenic rating of that is a one out of five, so it's pretty low. So you don't have to worry about that. Now there's two ways that you can use this hydrating face mask. One, you can apply it like a normal mask and you can wear it for 10 to 15 minutes and then wash it off. I did do that. Now let's talk about the smell. So this doesn't really smell like anything, which is good. Like I said, I like when skincare products don't have an overwhelming smell. It's definitely extremely moisturizing. One thing, I have dry skin, so I have actually have like combination skin, but it mainly veers more towards dry so that's really weird because i live in a humid environment <laughs> but with hydrating face masks usually i'll put them on and my skin usurps it so quickly that it just feels like it just went away you know and then i did try one hydrating face mask in the past with glow recipe but i had like a little bit of an allergic reaction to it so i didn't experience any allergic reaction to this whatsoever thankfully i personally like to use this more as a sleep mask versus a mask mask and i think that this product came out at a really good time because you know it's winter time in most places of, in the u.s right now usually that means we have extremely dry skin so i think that this works really well in those climates i woke up and i felt my skin very hydrated usually you don't really feel that way so that's kind of nice so on a scale of one through five i give this like a 4.25 so i like it but i like it a little bit more than just liking it you know but i don't love it just it's really hard for me to find a skincare product where i'm like yo i love this i'm obsessed with this you know but i think that it does a really good job of hydrating i personally think that it's really good for winter i don't i wouldn't use this all the time i think probably just as my skin needs it probably like once a week to be honest with you maybe even twice if it's a really bad day 
but again living in florida i experience humidity i don't really see the need to use it all that much so that concludes my review i hope you guys enjoyed it if you found it informational at all please give me a thumbs up i always genuinely appreciate it and if you haven't already i would love for you to subscribe all you have to do is click my face right here and you can watch some of my other skincare videos that are pretty informational. I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day. Bye!